So guys, now they completed this uh, transaction processor. I'm going to do this transaction processor client now. Um, this code I, I already, as I already told that I'll be reusing this tra int key transaction processor client, which is kind of okay level where it doesn't have um, dynamic transaction and batches support that you can add it later uh, by con modularizing the functions in the submit payload so now I'm going to do the walkthrough how to make the transaction processor client code into an express JS client so Okay, I'll make a new clone now. Remove. So, take a clone of the project. Do npm install. Okay, the code is missing package of this. So we'll see some of your people. Okay, it's in sub subdirectory. So well, the basic thing we'll be doing here is we need to run this init js first this will generate a private key and public key then it will get written to dot npnv folder this which will which can be written by uh, dot env npm package as you can see dot env so this exports the file into a config and then we are getting set of values from the configuration so this package can be used if you want to have uh, if you want to store the environment variables in a file instead of passing it as a parameter every time but since this we are going to convert this as an express chase application I'm going to omit this so we don't need argv but you'll need to run npm init for the first time to get the, the node in it. Okay, so as you told, we need to run the npm install now. Sorry. This is taking some time. So here, please follow O API mechanism instead of REST API. So we can have a particular single function for every kind of request. The action needs to be supplied in the uh, payload from the pay postman or the front end, and the data will be supplied in the data uh, attribute of the JSON data. So we can have single endpoint for all the function calls all the api calls then we'll validate here based upon the action we'll do the necessary function calls okay so we will have got our dot env file generator now So this is a private key, a public key. I'm going to pass the private key here itself. So later, later when you call, you'll be getting this from 
some environment variable or session so we need to stay the store this private and public keys in the database and then based upon the user session we'll retrieve the key and then pass it here we'll create an enclave instance then we'll create this sort of client instance then we'll create we'll connect to the family or transaction processor then we'll do, we'll do the payload submission and all so we already saw how, how this submit payload is happening so we have to look this give a walk through again this section the transaction is getting created and it, it is getting converted into a byte format then transaction array is created then this transaction array is passed into batch header so or the batch then this batch is con getting converted into batches then this batches is convert getting converted into a batch by less of byte byte values then this is getting posted in the batch endpoint to the validator corresponding validator so this is the whole process in this uh, client code so this uh, private key or passing will be used to uh, sign the transaction sign the transaction as uh, signer and batcher Uh, we'll need to go so please go through the code um, all these codes once again so you'll get uh, get an idea of why every code is present and see my previous tutorial about uh, the basics about writing uh, transaction processor client uh, we'll get some more clarity more clarity on that we are not gonna do this validation I'm just I know I'm not gonna need this payload as well so what this will return to me is a tra transactor so return create a function create transactor so since it's returning as transactor I will give the private key If private key is given else we we'll just use the private default private key we'll have generic now client client enrollment family name instead of that we'll have this then Version number mm -hmm. API endpoint This will be TCP connection local host eight thousand eight. We'll have this. We'll be having this family name and other stuffs in a config file in a real world application. Now the transact transactor is ready so here I'll just pass in null so we'll get, uh, generate an instance with the default private key now I'm going to install express.js and body parser as well as course we need to, we'll need to implement 
proxy and other stuff as well but that's based upon your command I'm going to show an explicit about person now going to require them So if you don't know what is body pass is, this is just a uh, way of converting the request payload data in and then set the value to the request of body. So, so this is a function that which is readily available for us to use. So as we can write our own function to convert the data into uh, and then use the body. Okay, now we're done. App dot post output whatever the method we can get the payload from. Request and response. We'll we might write this app dot all and then get the get the token and set the values in the request payload or you can use jlibrity or passport mechanisms to set the session data Port. I don't know. Ah. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm not going to check whether this function is working or not. I just don't know. I just know this will work. Uh, okay, this is salt. That's an same name. So result. This will will get. We'll get some bunch of data once the transaction submitted, such as status. Status needs to be two not two. Um, We'll get some other messages as well but what we are going to give to the client is a data result dot data dot link so what this will contain is a link to the batch which we are submitting this result will contain some JSON data such as uh, some JSON data And status so since we went we never know whether this com batch is committed or not we can make another API call to this URL periodically or some or one time or make a socket type out of it and make some periodic call then name it to the client saying this has been some committed or not until and unless this status changes to committed this transaction is not success so mind then this can be unknown or failed so we'll check whether the status is uh, success or not by this url only so i'm going to return this url alone then end. i'm ending this response here so that's it guys this is how we are gonna uh, i'm gonna be doing my applications oh if i find any other uh, better way to implement the same solution i'll be telling you guys sharing guys please if you found this video to be useful do subscribe like share this will encourage me to do more 
more of these tutorials thank you